now we go to the dungeon at night. Very beautiful. Alright, let's get it. Let's get back in there. Let's go check this out. What is this? A mysterious crystal entwined in ivy blocks your path. It seems you cannot proceed. Let's go ahead and uh, make note of this. I'll just assume this is locked door and this is door. Crystal door. Yeah, looks right to me. Oh! Mole has appeared. Kill. Kill. Nice. Mole. got one hand on the controller and one- oh god, that already sounds awful. Uh, I got one hand on the controller and one hand on the- whatchamacallit. That is some ugly UI. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this later. That's fruit though. God dang it. Uh, I, don't care, I don't care to misspell it right now. I'm a little pissed at this just existing. I'll just deal with it, I guess. I can click it. Imagine playing this- you could probably play this whole game with- the, the whole game with your mouse. That's kind of crazy. Oh, everyone just killed. That ain't nothing. <sighs> da -da -da -da. Beast bone. Bone the beast. You step into a dead end at the forest's edge, covered with brush and brambles. An old rucksack, seemingly abandoned by a past explorer, is lying at your feet. Sure, danger around every corner. You peer inside the rucksack and find a number of coins inside. One hundred and no. Oh. There was an event that happened here, and that event, I found one hundred and no. Oh. Easy. I don't like this. This is a trap. I'm sorry. Set laid by whom? That I don't know. But I'm getting out of here. And you're not getting my... You're not having my save file. You're not... You're not gonna take away my progress. Kill. Defend. Kill. You guys are weak to ice? Yes. Boom. Alright. Watch this all go according to plan. Bam. Ow, that still hurts. Oh. Oh, it's digging deep. Oh, poisoned. Oh, so good. Come on. Christ almighty. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. That was cutting it close. Too close, honestly. Let's get that fruit now. Oh. Uh, I'll take it. You, as soon as you can, as you continue down the path, you find red fruit growing on the wall of trees. It hangs just within reach, seemingly daring you to pluck it and take a bite. You consider for a moment whether or not to eat the fruit. The fruit is red, so more than likely an apple? Yes. The fruit's sweet juices slid down Spoons' spoons's throat. Oh, God damn. 
Must be an apple, bro. Kind of a pointless event, honestly. It was okay. Didn't hurt. Didn't help all that much, but... Saved on supplies. Oh! Uh -oh. Claw bug. Since this is an HD now, I can actually see more details. This is crazy. Uh, just defend. This thing is resistant to physical, so... Crack them open. Just what I thought. Now that's a dead end, so... Let's get our way, let's move our way over here. Mole. Singular mole. Mole defeated. Level three. Might be like, uh, why aren't you spending skill points? Because... I don't feel like spending skill points right now. Also, I don't need to. I really just don't need to. I honestly don't. Like, what's the point? Well, there is a point, but... Whatever. Whatever. I'll do it now, then. Tornado. I need Defender ASAP. Increase that. Attack damage. Whip damage going up. Oh. I need to get level 10 ASAP, but I also... Is bait good? I don't know. I don't know if bait is good in this one. I know it's good in EO2 and 2 Untold. Que? Yo. Hello. I don't do this streaming thing very often, so I don't know if this is, if the music is, if the game is loud as shit. I don't know if the music is loud as shit, or like, if my volume is fine. Hi, Stern Cold. What's well, good? I'm gonna... Do that. I'm audible. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you're wondering, I've, uh, I don't know if I'd call myself a veteran, but I've played each game, like, uh, every game, one through Nexus and the Untolds, and I've played them on the hardest difficulty, uh, just, uh, basically a veteran at this point. I haven't beaten any of the post-game, I've just, I haven't beaten any of the super bosses, just did, like, the main game up until the end of the fifth stratum on DS slash 3DS, on my 3DS. All right, I'm just auto and beat ass. So I kind of get what's going on here. It's really tough, like, I'm mostly just doing this stream for like archival purposes so I can look back at it later. It's very tough acting like I'm surprised by shit because I've seen it so much. Boom. While walking through the forest, you find something furry at the trail's end. Ain't no way, bro. Initially thinking it a creature, you lower your guard upon realizing it's a boot. Oh, I know. I was just commenting on that earlier with the, uh... I was just commenting on that earlier with the Dark Hunter, because the Dark Hunter has a... dog shit TP pool. Like, my god. Initially thinking it a creature, you lower your guard upon realizing it's a boot. Could it have belonged to an adventurer? You weigh the options of picking up the dirty boot. Torn clothes and reddish stains on the ground. Yeah. Whatever it was, definitely killed them. You gingerly pick up the dirty boot. It's rather heavy due to the ivory-colored ivory stones its previous owner hid inside. Yippee! As you marvel at the stones, the ground begins to shift unnaturally. Dreadful monsters who unlikely, who likely killed the boots owner ambush you. Bro. Bro, are these fucking monsters like earthquake, like committing, like creating earthquakes? I always found that line funny because I'm like, these moles ain't, ain't like shifting any earth, bro. Alright. These moles fucked me up on my first playthrough of Untold 1, so I'm gonna play it pretty safe. Boom. Ow. Haha, 
I get fucked. I hate this game. Haha. <laughs> Whetstone. That's gonna sell for a pretty penny. Uh, I am done with the first mission though, so... You guys just came in when uh, things are gonna get interesting. Oh, I have to talk to the soldier. I keep forgetting that. Uh, no, I love these games. Uh, they rekindled my love for video games back in like 2021. I loved, I liked video games still, but like, damn. As you stride through the forest, you meet the soldier still guarding his post. Once he notices your presence, he hails you cheerfully. Got your map all in order, have you? In that case, you've got my permission to proceed. Alchemist's base max TP reaches 198, which is below average for every other game. I see. I don't know the exact details, but I know that TP pools are rather low. That's kind of mitigated, though, by murdering things quickly in these games. <laughs> got your map on order, have you? In that case, you've got my permission to proceed. He waves me through. <laughs> so yeah, I might want to go back. Uh, in a second, I will explain. I'll show what my party layout is. So... For my first playthrough of this game, back when I played... Okay, so my first game was Untold 1, then I played 4, then I played 3, and then I played 1 Vanilla, and then 2 Vanilla. So, 1 Vanilla was my fourth game in the series, but I used the same party from Untold 1, which also works surprisingly well. Um, I have a Launch Connect, his name's Spoons. A lot of very much uh, Silverware-themed party names. But in my head canon, they have real names, but uh that's a secret. Those are those are secrets. Uh one of these days I'm gonna have to write up the lore for these for my characters. Cause I've thought of that shit in my mind for like the longest time, but I never put it to like paper. I never wrote it I never like wrote it down or typed it up, so it's just stuck in my head. I'll have to like brainstorm or like do something with it one day. Uh but right now I have uh a Launch Connect, a Protector, a Dark Hunter, an Alchemist, and a Medic. They're my homies. My Ride or Die. I have the I have the biggest attachment to this party. Not because it was my first game, but just because in terms of like all my parties, there it's just my favorite. Like it's tried and true. It has never done me wrong. I'm just like talking and all this, and like Arc Ethan is just in the chat like Alchemist base TP. I'm not making fun of you by the way, but like Alchemist base TP reaches 198, which is below average for every other game. <laughs> the average TP pool of EO1 is 145. The next lowest average is EO3 is 248, which is bogged down by one of its unlockable. Which class is that? Not too sure. We've received word from our soldier that you've completed your map. Well done. We acknowledge and recognize your status as true explorers from this point on. You belong to the Joe Nuts Guild, correct? Let me give you the standard reward. Take this to Shaleka's Goods. She'll sell you items necessary for your sh travels. So, with this dialogue, did it just assume that I went into the labyrinth with my base gear? Not a good idea, by the way. Stock up there and work hard to explore the labyrinth for us from here on out. I got the note and some money. Let's report my discoveries. So I encountered a tree rat, a wood fly, a mole, and a claw bug. This is much needed quality of life. Also, these icons are mad funny. Fucking... <laughs> fucking bind icons. Oh. As someone that has played the uh, other Etrian games, it's nice to see... I'm missing an I I'm missing an item. Shit. I do plan to 100% this. One day. Well, on stream, yes. Tiny petals, soft hide, small fang. Especially since you neck and chicken and It's hard fitting neck. Yeah. So I got a good amount already set up. Or already fucking found. Wow, my menuing is too good. 
I see you've reported a few of the things that you found inside the forest. As they say, even oaks go from small acorns. Everything must begin somewhere. I have high hopes that you'll one day solve all the forest mysteries. Oh, I will. I will. In case there are any people that do come in here that aren't really familiar with the game, I guess keep spoilers to like a minimum. But we can talk about like, uh, general stuff like classes and damage, like, like game stuff. I don't know. So I'm gonna... I feel like getting a, uh, getting a shield for the launch connect is kind of worthless, so I'm just gonna get another hide belt. And get another... Would a red charm be better? I don't know. Like, to mitigate, like, the lower TP? Because, like, I think the TP, like, her TP pool would increase decently well. I'm not sure. Uh, any input on that would be nice. So let me just, uh, be a real gamer here and get two red charms. I don't have any red charms on you, so rip. Nothing to sell. Spoiler, some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice we're all willing to make. <sighs> I have an idea. Alright, no surprise here. But no, for real question, would, a, would it be better to just get a, a red band or whatever the fuck, the TP increasing uh, accessory on my Dark Hunter or nah? I think, H I think higher HP would be more useful. Because, like, her base, like, regular attack already does go that damage. Boom. Hardwood. Mugwort. Nothing. Mugwort. Hardwood. Hardwood. Nothing. Mugwort. 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 Hardwood. Mugwort. 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 Hardwood. Mugwort. 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 Hardwood. I love the word mugwort. I don't even know what it means. Yeah, I'm not very creative, honestly. I'm doing the same thing that, uh, most players have done. You make a very fair statement. Cut resist instead of a second hide belt seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And I'm poor again. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna sell that. I'm just gonna give that to, uh, uh, them for now. I'm poor though, so, uh, I won't die. It's fine. We can run. I forgot that, like, enemies can run. I still gotta go up and, uh, get the treasure up there. Mugwort is a kind of flowering plant. It has rows of small pink flowers going up the plant. I got into a battle theme on PC. I played the Switch version, like, early, last night when I got home from work. I played the- I listened to the battle theme. God. And this. Like, I took time to just listen to it. I stopped playing the game. God damn. I cried again. Like, every time I boot up a new playthrough, I can't help but, like, cry a little. Every time I hear that- I hear these songs. Alright, that's good enough. Damn, yeah, the prob the price is the problem. Damn, just like the collection. <laughs> uh, but I'm a fanboy, so I will purchase anything they throw at me. I'll just buy anything they throw at me, easy.